What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and look at this. Almost 800 users online. Um, shot up because the day I'm recording this is the Humble Card Game Bundle just came out. Um, so this is kind of like Scrolls' first form of getting out there into the market. Um, so some nice publicity there. And the Humble Bundle is just basically a, a lot of games you can get for really cheap price it's really pay what you want and you also choose where your money goes like you could pay like i think just like a penny and then you'll get a bunch of games but yes yeah, so you can get the scrolls the scrolls for full version is part of the bundle um where you can pay whatever you want um and then there's also scrolls deluxe version i'm making air quotes right now uh i don't know why they call it that really it just means that along with getting um a game key you'll also get a key to redeem in the scroll store which will get you to the new uh, uh, decks um, pre-construction decks and um, a new avatar one male one female an exclusive avatar so knowing me who uh, strives to get everything possibly obtainable in scrolls I spent at least twelve dollars, which is you need to spend twelve dollars or more on the humble bundle to get the scrolls deluxe version as part of it. So I just spent twelve dollars and I got the avatar thing. So I guess you could say I spent twelve bucks just for some extra avatars. Um, and it did actually. So all yeah, all I did yes, yeah, so I just um, redeem code. You just put it there and it will give you the stuff. And it did give me. I already had. The, it gives you Long Nose Brigade and Way the Night, I think. I already had both of these decks. I already bought them, if you saw in the last video. But it still gave me another copy of them. So, like, I had a bunch of more scrolls. So, I traded the extras to my second account and stuff like that. Yeah, and speaking of second account, I already have a second account, Nerf the Ninja. So, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with the extra account I have from the Humble Bundle now. Because I already have an alt account. I was considering doing it as some sort of giveaway on my channel. But I was thinking... Probably almost all of you already have scrolls if you're watching my channel. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'll have to think about that. Yeah, and the avatar you get is pretty cool. Let me just... Um, yeah, it's this except for the head. Yeah, this is the head. There's also a female version of it. Um, yeah, and I, I'm just using the mod head because I just like wearing the most exclusive head. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, and I'm all decked out. And today we are going to be doing ranked um, number three in the ladder right now. I am actually going to be playing some mono energy structures. Now, hate all you want, but I think mono energy structures is a fun deck to play and a fun deck to play against. Well, I mean, not always, but I don't really understand all the hate always for mono energy structures. Um, I like to play it sometimes. I usually play it when I get frustrated and ranked and like I keep losing to like get a poison deck I just whip this out and whoop them um, But Personally, I love playing against it. Like I think it's a pretty easy deck to play against and It does have interactions with the board. They're putting on structures They're trying to get board control and it's I like how it's like there's a clear although it takes them a long time to win the game I like how there's a clear like a there's usually a clear moment where they have enough board control that you're not going to be able to come back, so you could just surrender. Um, so yeah, don't hate on me. I am kind of a fan of Monterey Structures, and I'm going to play it today in Ranked. And I think it's going to work pretty well in this meta, because you see a lot of that Decay Order um, late game decks, and a lot of late game order, which have a lot of spells, which Metal Wonders, I have three Metal Wonders in the deck, so they could do a lot of work. Um, and just, I just hope I don't get matched up against like late game growth. <laughs> That's... That would be the only real downfall. So, um... I never heard that sound. Alright. Oh yeah, I have some... Uh, I did some more crafting. Uh, speaking of tiered cards, it's pretty funny. Some... Like, a few people, I think it's like four people now in the past, like, week or two, have approached me. Never seen them before. They ask me to... Give, give them my autograph. I'm like confused. What they do is they trade me like their favorite scroll. Like say they're, they're tier 3 hired. They're tier 3 burn. They trade it to me. And then I trade it back. 
and then it says my name on owner history. Like this one has owner history of both my cats. I guess I traded it back and forth for some reason. So essentially, that's my autograph on their favorite scroll. Uh, so I, I just thought that was kind of cool. I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, so yeah, they, <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty cool. You can get somebody's name on any scroll. But let's find a match, please. And I guess I'll be back when one is found. All right, found a match. So I'm basically playing on our structures because I want, I want to break from growth. Too much aggro aggro thing. So good luck, have fun to Mr. Adun Sindar. And keep the sound. Uh I'll get rid of the early bounce dispersal. Yeah, that, that avatar looks awesome. <laughs> the a lot of times like the moderator had like exclusive avatar heads don't really match well with other avatars. But whatever. Um you see, oh he did buy he, oh, he didn't buy these, he just chose to use these idols. Remember, all accounts start with these idols. Um, so he chose to set these to be on. And I want to see both two drops here. So if he plays something like a Vetter, I could take it out. Um, but if he doesn't, I could just play a Hired Smuggler. And he plays a Ragged Wolf. Um, I don't know, do I want to spark it? Machine Chat is good. I'm gonna get rid of the Oculus Cannon and just play the Hired Smuggler. I'm not too worried about that Ragged Wolf. It can be like a Brave could come out this turn. I might have to spark that. Actually, if there was a Vetter, I might not even spark it because I might just put down the Charge Coil and hope the Charge Coil can snipe it. So it does look like he's trying to engage me here. Um, which means I might have this and then eventual Vetter. Uh, you know what? I think I'm just gonna play Charge Coil. Yeah, I'm going to play a Charge Coil. I'm going to play it right in the middle here. I'm going to try to ward him off. I want to get a free hit on an idol. Um, and yeah, I'd rather save that spark for maybe this turn and get rid of this Vengeful Vetter. So he's going to attack it. What's he going to do? Like Champion Reigns? Take it out. So I don't think he's going to be able to kill my Hired Smuggler. Sorry, that is my home phone ringing. All right, he does go with the stag heart, and is he? What's he gonna do? A, a ragged wolf? Maybe a ragged wolf to take it out? And that's it. So I'm gonna get a board clear here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, machine chant. I guess I'll sacrifice machine chant for scrolls. So I'll just spark here, and I'm going to get the board clear. I could draw a structure scroll by hitting an idol, but I'd rather just clear his board. Um, and I, obviously growth is probably the best faction uh, against structure energy because of stuff like quake. Even aggressive growth decks with that quake still are very strong. Um, so I'm going to have to hope I can survive here. He played a leeching ring on this already. I'm not sure what his idea was there. I'm going to get rid of the oculus cannon. Just play an ether pump right in front. So we'll just let that ping that. And hopefully I draw a burn. That would be ideal. Maybe an overdrive to get that thing going every turn. I'm, I'm not sure if I should really fill up too much on the board because he could be playing a late game growth kind of thing. What he's played so far hasn't given me real any indication because Vengeful Vetter Sometimes in aggressive decks, uh, sometimes in late game decks because of the pillage effect, which gives you a nice ramp. And he doesn't do anything, so I'm just going to get another board clear, I guess. Uh, and I guess I'll just kill that, and I'll play a forge up top. I'm not going to play useless contraps, and I don't think it's worth it just to keep piling on. Playing the forge instead of the charge coil, because the charge coil will just be veteraned. Kinfolk veteraned. It's interesting, like, Scrolls has, like, alright, there's a Kinfolk Brave, so I don't think he's going to quake me, because he's playing little drops right now. Like, Scrolls have made Veteran into a verb, for me at least, like, Veteran. I don't think there's any other Scrolls that, like, people, like, use like that, like a verb that shouldn't be. Like, I mean, yeah, you could say, like, I bombarded him, but that bombarded is still an actual word. 
veteran is not a word. Um, so that has blood boil. So if this charge goal hits that brave, that's going to be a big brave. I could go for the sudden eruption and have the one half chance of killing this. I don't think that's worth it though. I will just... I will just go for resources, play the potion of resistance, and play a charge coil. So now you can't do anything to me. This thing will survive. But now, if he has quakes, he'll start playing them. Considering I have both my charge coils going off and Hired Smoker getting the card draw. When your mono entry charge, you have to face a growth deck with quakes. Or this is an output. If you have to face a deck with with quakes, then you really have to try to keep your card draw high. Like you have to not flood the board and just play your cards right. It's kind of tough. If you played an oak blood, that's interesting. And you decide to hit the idol. That means that. I'm gonna get rid of the spark. I guess I'll just play another ether pump. Yeah, but this guy's gonna actually have a really high attack right now, which is kind of scary. Because every time he gets hurt, that's more attack. Okay, he has eight attack. Ouch. I'm going to need a violent dispersal or something to get rid of him. Let's try a machine chant. Uh oh! This could be really bad. Um, uh, let's. I don't know how. I, how am I gonna do this? I, I can't like put a solemn giant down. He takes out an idol. Let's see. All right, I, I'm gonna need that potion of resistance. I think that's important. Uh, let's get rid of the spark. Overdrive. I mean, dealing. I don't really want to deal any. All right, he's gonna be taking damage. Okay, I think I should... Okay, I'm, I'm gonna lock up the center of the board. I don't want him up in my space there. And he's gonna have really high attack. Hopefully he doesn't play something else on him to give him more attack. Because I'm gonna have to kill him with normal stuff. I can't... He has ward right now. Um, I might lose this match. <laughs> Okay, so he's gonna. I don't. If he doesn't have Rumble in his deck, I might be able to survive a little bit. We'll have to see. There's a Kinfolk Ranger. Overdrive might be useful. Okay, so he's really filling up. Um, it's really this guy's gonna be our problem. This is Solemn Giant. Uh, let's take this opportunity to just play the Solemn Giant. If he's on the board behind this, he might be a little scared. And I could overdrive one of the ether pumps and I could take down the Vetter. Is that worth it? No, I don't think that's worth it. I'd rather just pump right now. And I'll, I will actually protect this idol slightly. Come on, hit the better. Alright, nice. Would have actually preferred to hit the Brave than the Wetland Ranger, though. I need to lower his health somehow. I can play spells in the Brave. Luckily, Sudden Eruption does hit the Brave, though. Um, but I'll need to have more than a Sudden Eruption to kill it. Okay, so he's going to be healing up. Hmm. How's he going to do this? He has to put something in front of this or I can just move my Psalm Giant up to deal a nice chunk of damage to it. Alright, he's going to use a Wetland Ranger. Okay. So... Thunder Surge, Thunder Surge. That could be useful. I'm going to get rid of the... I'm going to get rid of the Thunder Surge. Four scrolls. Burn. I'm tempted to just burn here. To just burn. 
I could pump. Uh. Yeah, let's go for the burn. Actually, let's burn this. Oh, what if all these... I just realized something. What if I move up and then all these kill this one well, ranger? That would be interesting. Nah, no, let's just burn this when we can. Okay. At least he's out of our face in the middle, like, like at least this has a little potion of resistance and he's not down here, like hurting me. All right, and hit that. Okay, that thing has 18 attack. If he has like a replenish and an imagination mindset in his deck, then I might be screwed. Okay, so I fully expect him to move up, which I'm, which which I was a little bit afraid of, because that means every turn he's gonna get some kind of value on me. I might be able to rush him with the Solemn Giant. Oh shoot, what am I doing? I forgot to pump. I forgot to pump the Solemn Giant. I could come back to bite me. I don't have that many resources. Getting an extra pump on that Solemn Giant could have been really huge. He doesn't have many scrolls. I think I can trade with him. Okay. So, Breaker, and he's going to hit the right in the middle there. And a Stag Heart on that. Whoop. Let's see. I'm going to... I'm gonna get rid of the smuggler. I will now play. A metal wonder and an overdrive. And I can move you up. I want this to spawn up here. Okay, good. Okay, hopefully it takes out that, uh, gonna hit, hit you. Nice. All right, I'm getting nice charge coil hits, I think. That thing has 20 attack now. I kind of want to ramp to 10 so I can get hasted solemn giant damage in. Okay, so this is going to go off again next turn. This thing might just survive the whole game. <laughs> Little ticks of damage from the ether pumps and charge coils don't look like they're going to be enough. Okay, he's going to take that out. I guess it's not a huge deal. And that's it. Yeah, and he's healing every turn too. Machine chant. Uh. Welp. I am going to get rid of the sudden eruption. For resources. And I'm going to play the clock library. And the Automata Forge. And that will be that. I didn't feel the need to uh, kill this veteran because this overdrive ether pump is going to be making his board not have any things on it.
Okay. Is this still, this will have ward unless it has. Once it goes down to two health, it's gonna not have ward anymore. I don't know, I have to go down to one health first to lose ward. Okay, it's going to have ward. I'm gonna have to kill it with like a solemn giant to be able to take it in. But I should be able to just keep putting up defense. Um. Hmm. Let me place that Earthborn Mystic there. Twenty-seven attack. Wow. Let's get a, let's get our third potion of resistance, please. Uh, this Psalm Giant in the middle here is really really nice. All right, he moves down with that, and. Is that a mistake? Can I? I don't. Oh, I wish I had one more. No, I, I can do it. Yes. I should, uh, moving down there is basically game. Now I'm going to be able to just kill it. I'm going to be able to kill the brave. Die, brave. Die. Yeah, I mean, now, now I won. That was really it. I just have to kill this brave. It is now dead. And. I'll take my GG. Board clear. Okay. So now I get just go to work on the idols with the Psalm Giant. And I have removal in my hand. Yeah, I guess I guess at no point really he really had a great chance at winning because I could just keep putting down protection. He's just top decking every single turn. Um I should keep hold of that balance dispersal, I guess. I will play the Divinator. And I guess I can machine chant. And another board clear. So it's really nice. Playing the Divinator lets me get another attack off with that uh, ether pump, which I might do again this turn and get another attack off with the ether pump. And that higher smuggler might single-handedly take down that idol. I'm actually going to have two ether pumps going off this turn because of the divinator. It's going to make this one go down to zero because it has no other choice of what to count down. Skythorn and Kinfolk Brave. Okay. So I'm going to you know I'll get rid of the Donald Dispersal. If he enchants something big, he's just gonna do something to it anyways. I'm just gonna hit the idol. I don't really feel like I need to expend resources and I'll play an ether pump and a machine divinator so now this will have another turn of attacking awesome and I have destroyed my first idol solely with this hired smuggler is this no I was hoping this one would be like crafted Yeah, whatever he puts down just dies. Even Quakes now wouldn't really save him. The old trick was always double Quake because then you can use no structure and no uh, structure, and the game has more than six health. So, if so, two Quakes would always take down a structure, and then the Divinator would die in two Quakes also. Uh. I don't really care, I guess I'll just pump. And I will I will play a metal wonder. 
back here. I could play another Divinator to get yet another attack off with this, but I think this guy has had enough of that. I just want to win the game. And I'm going to have the other Ether, Ether Pump attacking. So can I have the win this coming turn? Because I can make this guy attack and bounce the parcel in the same turn, so I should be able to do that. And the metal wonder there. It basically needs this game because he's gonna need spells if he would ever come back. And that is going to be game. So G to the G. I could have just burned. Alright. So that was fun messing around. M E S ing around. So thanks for watching everybody, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this. I'm going to be playing around with my new Humble Bundle uh, avatar and signing people's autographs, scroll autographs, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.